look at this beautifulness. You remember that one time you were building a 1 18th scale capo cub for everybody to enjoy online and you thought, geez, a build video would be so fun for people. And then all of a sudden you started getting busy with seasonal holiday stuff and your family and other RCs that you were excited about. And then all of a sudden you went out to the shop one night and you decided to start building, but you didn't decide to turn on the camera because you were just having fun. And then you built all the rest of it without showing your fellow RCers what you were doing. That happened to me. <laughs> to be quite straightforward, that's exactly what happened. But ba boom, look at this. What? Look at the color I went with, guys. Remember the old Cabelco? The excavator I did? Same kind of idea, except I kept with the gun metal. And then I highlighted with the coral blue. What do you think? The body's looking pretty dang sick right now. Look at this side. Got the optional cage on there as well, which comes with a different snorkel. You got to adjust it from the original snorkel just because of the way that the cage fits in there. Bum, bum, bum. I did not uh, uh, put this onto the, to the actual frame yet because I know you guys will want to see it. There it is. And then there's two magnets that go into two screws right here. Magnets are located up here. And the screws are to actually mount it straight onto the chassis. Now, no, these do not open on the side. And no, I do not have a light kit in it at the moment. But I don't really need it. Oh, and then the piece de resistance. This is so farkin' beautiful, guys. Wow. Dude, everything has come together. The wiring is nicely in the wire routing. The last time you guys saw this, I know I was going to put on the, uh, the, the chassis or on the tires and everything with you, but I just got busy one night. I was having fun with my hobby. You know, the shifter went in perfectly. Remember, I was having an issue with that. Well, when I set up the electronics, which are the bomb, the electronics themselves are absolutely phenomenal. Let's just have a look at this ESC here and this motor, okay? Built to just plug into itself. Look at this, there's some mad gear. Now I put in the upgraded motor into my capo cub just so it has more torque and can do a 3S LiPo. Let's see here. Remember when we were wondering about these quote wireless batteries? This is a wireless pack. You and I misunderstood what it actually meant. It meant that there's no wires sticking out of this pack. It's a wireless pack. You plug into it right here with the ESC that's built for it. So basically it looks like the balancing plug. It's just a power plug goes into the side just like, oh, pardon me, goes into the side just like that, okay? That's how it hooks up to the ESC. The ESC has the red power plug that comes straight out to the motor lead wire. Here's the motor. Dun, dun. So here is the motor lead that you would just simply zap, zap, and then plug the motor in to the ESC and there's really just no questions about what's going on. Then you just take the ESC and plug it into the receiver and your whole unit is good to go. And that's exactly what I did on mine. And then I just took the wire routing guides. All of this is metal guys, all of it. The wiring in underneath, off to the side here, then up. Just a quick little twist tie for me. This could get so much neater, I totally get that. Uh, and here's where the battery slides in and it just plugs in right there. Now I want to give you guys a listen to this crawler because it is absolutely phenomenally quiet. What do I mean by that? Let's turn on the radio. Went with a Fly Sky radio. Just one time with the shifter. I just want to have it lifted up. I'll do it one hand here. Pinky on the trigger. Mm. 
Wow, look how smooth that is. I wish I could focus on that drive shaft as it's turning. Not going to happen. Such a smooth shift, guys. Holy cow. I am loving that. And then I've made sure that my end points are set up, which is how far the servo will throw. So I don't want to overthrow my servos because then it overworks and heats them up. But I set it up to have a nice throw on it like this. Look at that. Look at the amount of steering throw you have on that, hey? Amazing. Look at that slow crawl control. Okay, so the one thing that I noticed about this, which I found fascinating. Wow. Not just how well it's made, but one thing that I was questioning and why Capo did this, and I may never know, maybe it was just the design. Maybe they thought this part was going to be heavier. But if you look, this bumper is actually much higher than the back bumper. And it is the position of the actual shock uh, absorber on the shock hanger. There is no adjustable uh, hoop holes here basically. So like I'd put one here and then maybe kind of lift this a little bit. But if you check the drive shaft angle is absolutely perfect. Front and back. Oh a little bit of grease on the link. When I left you guys before I was going to put the axles on and do the links but gosh guys doing links is just so damn boring not just to film but to watch I've done links like at least 10 to 12 times over the years on my channel and uh, we all know how rod ends go on rods. Now you can see the actual lockers, the cable that go to a single um, servo, and when you shift gears it, sh it tightens up those um, the lockers. So behind the blue magic curtain, I've got a couple of my projects and things I got working going on. People ask me about the rubber duck uh, excavator. Uh, too many times, Lesu has sent me products that was missing parts, and I just decided I didn't want to be promoting a company that was doing that all the time. Uh, so here is the capo, um, the obstacles for the 124th and 118th scale uh, trucks that are out there. This is an expandable wide wire bridge which does have a wire tensioner down here that works on a sliding system um, you can make this bridge bigger or smaller it's a pretty neat concept I figured we'd test it out today with the uh, defender dang it looks good hey I'm loving how that looks guys what are you thinking on the color is it something that pops for you uh, let's go ahead and give this a little bit of a go I'm excited to do it I might even, in fact, put you onto a what, tripod, something like that. Here, a block. Looking good. Let's see if we can even mount up. Very good. I bet this would do even better outside. I mean, the obstacle itself, uh, like on some dirt or something, because it's pretty flat up here. Dang, this is actually doing perfect... Let's go to this side so you can actually see what's going on here. What I always tell people when they're on a wire or rope bridge, always make sure you can see the front of your tires at all times when you're crawling. That way you can ensure that your tire is centered on the rope and that you're not going from left or right. Uh, wherever your front tires go, your rear tires will, f will follow. Remember that. Wherever your front tires go, your rear tires are going to follow. That's the same in full-size wheeling, anything, uh, small scale, same thing. Here we go. One-handed driving, throttle control. I've got an exponential setup at 92% on my, on my trigger. And always trust yourself. Trust. You never really want to delay. Look at that. I've got a floating truck. Ooh, totally floating in the sky. Just got to line up the rope with the, the crack in the floor, right? Look at that. 
making sure that my back tires are still centered. That one's a little bit off, but not too bad. It's in the center. Dude, the coral blue and the gunmetal. It looks sick. Watching those front tires. Trusting where one tire is that the other will be as well. And we are across the wire bridge. Look how planted that is, hey? <laughs> yes, let's go up this side. Capo, thank you for sending me these uh, these obstacles. Thank you for sending me the truck. I know Mountain Mike's going to be thrilled when he finds out that I'm giving him the JK so he can build that on his channel. If you guys want to check out Mountain Mike's fabrications on YouTube, I'm also going to leave a link to his channel in the video description box down below. And you can go and check out his build on his Vanquish Phoenix that he's doing right now. And then you can follow the JK Capo Cub build as well. Look at this beautifulness. Straight up. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Oh, yes. Insane torque. Yeah. I love this little thing already. I like the weight distribution in it the best and how planted it is. I bet you I could have done that even slower. I probably need like a stronger battery though. 7.4 is good, but... Almost 12 volts is better. Look at that. It does not even want to tip forward. So sick. I get to go on the teeter-totter. Wouldn't you do it over and over again if you could? <laughs> I know you guys are here in spirit with me right now. Are you actually wheeling right now? Am I playing on the TV while you got an RC going on in the background? God dang, that just is a sick, sick color, sick ride, amazing obstacle. And look how planted that thing is. A little bit on the dark side there, but not a big deal. The teeter-totter. The seesaw. The obstacle. Duh. Can I balance it right in the middle? Oh, you got to get the pendulum moving. Oh, almost. Close though, closest attempt yet. Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> there you go guys. So what do you think? I know I didn't build all of it, but you guys got a ton of good looks at the Capo Cub 1, uh, the Land Rover Defender. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the overall look at this. Whoa! <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed the overall look at this model. Uh, and the obstacles. I want to say thank you to Capo. Thank you to everybody watching today. I hope you've enjoyed the show overall. As always, my friends, I hope you leave a comment. I love to read them. Uh, happy holidays to everybody at the time of this filming, and we will see you next episode of RC Adventures. Now go outside, have fun with RC, or if you can't because it's too dang cold, stay inside and build one. Bye!